I think there's a lesson about change in a tradition-bound sport. That, you know, it's never going to be people rising up and saying right from the beginning, oh, you know, you're right about this, you need to change. You need to show them the change, let them get used to it, hope you've designed it correctly, and fans will embrace it. When it became clear that Commissioner Seelig was going to step aside, um, and that there was going to be an election process. Um, I actually undertook to have some research done with fans to understand better um, what they were thinking about the game. And the results of that research was really a seminal moment. I actually talked about um, it during the process, talked with the owners about the fact that I thought the game needed to change. There were um, things that were just unsustainable in terms of maximizing the growth of the game and giving the fans the game they wanted to see. The combination of the new rules, the pitch clock as well as the, the shift in the stolen bases, have given our fans um, a game that's more like the ideal game from their perspective. It's not just about the time, it's also about the action in the game, the pace of the game. Um, we've literally had a, a, an overwhelming response to the changes, everything from improved attendance, better rating to you know, emails from parents saying, you know, I can take my kid to a baseball game on a weeknight, even during school, which, you know, crucial to the future of our sport. We were charging more to fewer people coming to the ballpark. That, that, that's not a, I mean, that, you know, that's kind of management 101, right? That's not a trend that you can keep um, um, exploiting for an indefinite period of time. We needed to make sure we we're putting more people in the ballpark, drawing bigger audiences, drawing younger audiences, and that was the motivation for change, even though our revenues continued to go up. I think one of the biggest improvements in the last collective bargaining agreement was the creation of the joint owner-player um, on-field competition committee. Um, I'm hoping that that committee becomes an ongoing source of communication and ideas about how the game should be evolved. I'm hoping it becomes a two-way process where players are saying, you know, this is happening on the field, you ought to fix it. You make hard decisions about um, the future of the game, the future of franchises, and at the end of the day, you know, it is my responsibility.